towards the top end. Keeping in mind you can adjust this from left to right. With the gate manual released, or the gate lock manual released, make sure that the pin and the lock line up before you start to run the gate. So right now they're going to open up and then I'm going to close them back down and make sure it runs or the lock locks properly. So I'll, I'll do this a couple times to make sure it's working properly. Okay, the gates are closing now. We're going to see if the gates line up and the lock works better this time. It's a little bit windy still, so hopefully we'll get a good test of the wind pushing against the, the gates. So once it gets closed, once it's locked, I'm going to give it another signal to open back up. Looks like it locked. We're going to open the gate back up and make sure the gate opens. We'll do this a couple times to make sure it's lined up still and the wind hopefully is not affecting it as much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open the gate back up. Run it through a couple cycles, make sure the lock is still lined up. Looks like it opened perfectly fine. So I'll open and close it a few times to make sure it locks properly and releases properly. Okay, now the gate's coming back closed. We'll see if it locks properly. And we'll open it one more time just to double check. Looks like everything's working. And once we do that, we'll put the cap, the lock cap on the bottom of the receiving pin, and then we should be done.